All right, this is the starting up of the MSI Wind U123 netbook. It's the newest model on the MSI Wind line. Here's the power button up here. It's nice to be up here. It's not going to accidentally hit it. See how the startup speed. <coughs> Starts up fairly fast. Um, for a netbook of this size. Let me go to the load, give it a second. Alright, let me turn the brightness down a little bit. To do that, I go function key F4. This is load as it goes. If it's bright, I'm sorry, if the camera picks up light quite easily. Um, let's see. As you can see, it's Windows Home Edition, which is most, what most netbooks come with. Um, the webcam software is called Crazy Talk Cam Software. Neat little program. You can see I'm using a flip video to record my review. Um, come with other things, avatars, you know, a dog, a giant toad that winks and blinks. Um, also we have special effects using your webcam and software. Um, Nothing more than you expect out of normal webcam software and I any mean, computer or laptop. Uh, yeah, this. Next thing is something called Easy Face Manager, which is really neat. You can log on to your creator via face recognition. But I'm not going to set up right now because my face is not in the actual video. My shoulder kind of is. But, um,. Well, it does, it takes 17 photos of your face and it finds an average out of them. And so when you go on in front of your computer, you can log in just by showing your face. So it's pretty neat. Um, the hard drive partition is really good. They, they, get, they did a good job on that. It separates into two hard drive partitions. Um, one is the local drive and one is the storage drive. Local drive is where all your application be installed on and the operating system is installed on. That's 60 gigabytes and the storage hard drive is the other 100 gigabytes. The nice thing about this type of setup is that if something something goes wrong with your Windows XP you're not going to lose your storage. I recommend you store photos and music and uh, documents on this storage folder folder rather. And also back them up on a external drive if you can. Um, let's see the monitor itself is LED backlit, what you would see on your iPod or your phone. It's, the nice thing about it is it's energy efficient. It, loses, it uses a lot less power and it's a lot brighter. And the color is a lot deeper, darker black, uh, brighter white, etc. I'll plug it in and I'll show you the actual brightness. So I plug it in and you see it gets a lot brighter. Um, Contrast really nice. You see, compared to a typical monitor, uh, you see, compared to, we both have Google on a regular monitor and a netbook. And you see, the netbook is a lot brighter than what you have on a normal LCD monitor. 
the point where you can't even read it. <laughs> um, let me take this back out. Unplug it, the uh, brightness comes back down. Let me make sure it brings it down all the way. There you go. Um, yeah, when you plug in your power cord, the brightness will go all the way up due to the fact that you don't have to worry about energy efficiency. Which is nice, everyone. Come on. Um, your, this is your typical Windows XP interface. As you can see, I added another, another gigabyte, so I have two gigabytes on this machine right here. Alright, this is um video on the netbook. This is Hulu.com. Uh, as you see, it runs pretty good. Like Hulu. Everyone will probably get a frame, uh, frame lock. But for the most part, you can watch movies and shows, episodes, and that. Pretty good on this. Here's a uh, full screen. Uh, frame rate a little lower, but still standable. Um, uh, also, you know the sound quality isn't very good on this netbook. They have two speakers, one on either side of the of the netbook, and they have no bass. And overall, just not very good at all. But in retrospect, you're most likely going to have headphones when you listen to this anyway. So I'm sure I'm excited to invest too much into uh, sound quality. The but when you do when you put headphones in, it, it sounds just fine. It's nice high quality audio. Um, pretty good. I went ahead and installed Skype and Firefox without any hassle. Um, overall, this is really good job that MSI did. The operating system is not filled with third-party software, so it's not going to slow you down at all, like most desktops and other notebooks do. Um, nice, fast, clean system, and uh, one of the best ones I've tried so far. It's really good. I, if you're thinking of getting a netbook, get this one. It's Three forty nine ninety nine on Newegg and Amazon. Um, prices will probably be dropping pretty soon too once the next next models come out. So overall, it's really good. Thanks for watching.